Hello everyone, interesting equation today, x to the power x equal to 4 to the power 1024. How can you solve this? Write your suggestion in the comment, try to solve it by yourself. So let's try to solve it right now. First of all, we can simplify this a little bit, because if we simplify this in that way, if we will have x to the power x equal to a to the power a, for example, the same base and same exponent and same power, we can write it, so the roots will be x equal to a. Because one and only way that this works, it will be x equal to a. So let's try to simplify the right side. If we will be able to simplify this in that way that base will be equal to our power, we can write, of course, our root right here. So first of all, our 4 to the power 1024. Let's try to simplify this a little bit. First of all, we can write this 1024 as 2 times... 512. And it's really good to know that this 2 we can write near our 4, so in that way, and all raised to the power 512. Because, of course, if we write this thing at first, it will be our next step, we multiply in our, our powers right here. So let's raise 4 to the second power, we will have 16 to the power 512. So let's do one small step. Let's simplify this once more. So we will have 16 to the power 512. Let's do the thing once more. So we will have 16 to the power 2 times 256. We can write it in the same way. So we will have 16 square and all raised to the power 256. It will be equal to 16 square. It will be over 256 to the power 256. And it's a really good case, because we will have our case from here, x to the power x equal to a to the power a, and we can write our final equation, so we will have x to the power x equal to 256 to the power 256. And as you can see right here, x to the power x equal to a to the power a, and the solution will be x equal to a. And it's not hard to see that we will ha we have same base, same exponent right here, and same base, same power right here. So one and only way that this equation works, it will be when x equal to 256. We can, of course, put this 256 right here, we can simplify this, and we can prove that this is will be one and only root, one and only answer. So, if you agree with this method, if you disagree, write a suggestion in a comment, write a question in a comment. I think it's nothing hard right here, because right here we use one root, one one rule, we use rule x to the power a raised to the power b equal to x to the power a times b. Simple root, learn this, remember this root. Of course, this rule works in the second way, so if we have something like that, we can write it x to the power a equal raised to the power b. So from here we can write something like that, and from here we can write something like that, you can simplify this, and of course you can work with this rule. This is good. Write a suggestion in comment, write a question in comment. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, putting thumbs up, I really appreciate it, and see you in the next videos.